I'm back in the backyard, Jake. <laughs> back in the backyard. Hey, we're wrapping up another week here with the daily Bible take on Psalm 92. And I thought it was fitting. Uh, it's tomorrow and the next day for us, but it's a song for the Sabbath. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, what do you think, man? What, uh, what stuck out to you? <clears throat> this is a really cool psalm. Uh, we say that a lot, but I just... <laughs> I really like this psalm and um, a couple things really uh, this idea in the very beginning, just that it's good to, uh, it says proclaim your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. Mm -hmm. I just really like that. Um, that it's not just like a box to check necessarily, but it's something just our, our relationship with God goes throughout the whole day. And so I, I thought that was really cool. But then uh, in verse four, he starts getting into, how great what God does is. Uh, he says, for you make me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. Verse five, how great are your works, Lord. How profound are your thoughts. Senseless people do not know. Fools do not understand. And, and he goes on. But uh, I love that. He's saying that what God does is wonderful. And what God does produces joy and gladness in me, in mm -hmm. us. And uh, I, I just, I think that's really great. And in verse five, um, I've loved this verse for a long time. He, he says, how great are your works, Lord? How profound are your thoughts? And the word thoughts right there, um, it, it means just that, a thought. But uh, a lot of us are familiar, I think, with Jeremiah 29, 11, mm -hmm. where it says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, or other versions say, I know the plans that I have for you. Mm -hmm. And it's the same word. And it, it really means that. It means a thought, but also a plan. Um, it, it can even mean a scheme in a negative way or uh, an intention or a scheme in a good way, like a game plan. Um, and I... I, I I think that's really cool because what he's essentially saying is you do things and you do things really well. You do things awesome. Your works are great and they make me glad. And the means by which you get those things accomplished is profound. Uh, the New King James says your thoughts are deep. And I, I like that. It's, it's, they're, they're profound. They're way beyond the surface of what I can see. And sometimes I don't understand how God is working. Sometimes I'm really confused when I, I'm not uh, able to see the end of the story yet. I might be in the middle of a, a scenario or situation uh, that, that's really uneasy. For example, the children of Israel were pretty uneasy when they didn't know how God was going to deliver them from the Egyptians chasing them when they were coming out of Egypt. <laughs> But God had this profound idea, this, this incredible intention, this game plan to part the Red Sea in a way that was breathtaking. Um, but in the moment, sometimes I don't know how that's going to work out. And so I've loved this because I can take it to the bank that God is good and what he's doing is for my good because I love him and I'm, I'm a part of his family. And even if I don't understand what's going on right now, I can, I can just know that he knows, even if I don't, he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards me, the plans that he has for me. They're profound, and they're to bring me to a glorious and expected end, like it says in Jeremiah 29, 11. So uh, I love that one. But what, what's uh, stirring your heart this morning with it? Well, it's cool. It's kind of like we talked about last night, too, a little bit, how, like, man, the concept of who God is and Jesus trying to communicate him to yeah. the disciples, like, those are are very deep thoughts, you know, and, yeah. and can be confusing at times. Uh, I love that so, tie-in. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because I, 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 it's funny. Everything you've said so far, like, jumped out to me. But one additional thing that I wrote down this morning was in verses 12 and 13 um, in the ESV, it uses the word flourish twice. And I just love that word. It's kind of fun to say, flourish. Yeah. Uh, but I, I love um, the picture of, you know, I, I get up and I, I water my lawn uh, because I want to see the grass flourish and thrive and look green throughout the summer. You know, we've done one year 
here where we, we didn't water at all throughout the summer and just let it turn to yellow and it's really hard to walk on and, uh, and it's not comfortable. Um, but man, to, to make it flourish, I got to get up and I got to water the lawn um, almost daily sometimes in the summer. And I just love sort of that picture here of um, the righteous flourish like a palm tree. Um, I don't have some cool fact about palm trees in the desert, but it's pretty remarkable, I think, how they're able to stay green and grow with very little water. Uh, so they're pretty resilient. But then I love how he used it again. They're planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of God. And it just was that reminder that um, staying planted, you know, spending consistent time with Jesus in the scriptures. I felt like, you know, um, total opposite of yesterday morning. I'm just having a, I got up really early this morning and had just a, a really wonderful time with the Lord this morning. And I just saw, I wrote this down, this, this word flourish being used twice here, speaking of the results from righteousness to being planted in the house of the Lord. I feel like I've seen my life flourish spiritually when I'm focused in the same way. Uh, and so that was just kind of a cool picture and uh, reminder and encouragement uh, this morning. That's awesome. And all, I got your back, man. One fun fact about palm trees <laughs> is they actually bear more fruit each year they get older so like oh, okay. it's a really cool thing and i've i've heard people say that uh that can be true for us in christ too that yeah. the best is yet to come as we just stick with it um instead of withering as we get older we can become more and more fruitful it's awesome amen i love it well bro what a great what a great week what a great uh youth night last night uh have a great sabbath we're going to hike and we're going to look at Psalm 93, get students a, a day ahead. Nice. Uh, yeah. And then we'll be back in uh, Psalm 95 on Sunday. Awesome, dude. All right, brother. Love you, man. Love you too. Peace. Peace.